My name is Kane. Aussie FIFA. We're here. Back. Raw. Results review. We did it for SummerSlam. I missed out on doing it for TakeOver because I'm an idiot and I didn't record it after I watched TakeOver. And, you know, we've just been doing it for the last few weeks, so why stop? And Mason and whoever else said that random on Twitter, I was right, wasn't I? Finn Balor did relinquish the title. So basically, uh, on Twitter, me and Mason were having a bit of a conversation, like, uh, and I said, uh, he said something about the Universal title being ugly, and I said, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the title that Balor has to give up tomorrow night due to injury. And he struck back saying no, politely, and then this other person's like, oh, he was, he's a, he posted a photo of him on the Good Morning America, whatever. Doesn't look like anyone's relinquishing their title, does it? Well, I was right, wasn't I? Mate, I swear I'm always right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, we open up with an emotional segment. Bower, 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 Bower relinquishes the title. And right as he's walking back after he relinquishes the title, says he'll be back better than ever to take that championship. Seth Rollins comes out. Also, they showed us where the injury happened. Apparently, they are... Uh, he had to pop. He popped his shoulder back in in the match, and then completed the rest of the match. Which, you know, after a power bomb uh, on the barricade. But yeah, the power bomb. Once they slowed it down, his arm did look like it was in a very awkward position. But four to six months, they're saying. Oh. And what is sad is that they trusted Bauer. They put Raw in his hands. They trusted Balor. And then, of course, he had to get injured. I was going to make a video last night about his injury, but it got a bit too late when it came out. So, yeah. So, basically, a bunch of superstars come out. Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, Enzo and Cass, Roman Reigns, and the uh, and the fans cheer. Uh, uh, chanted for his slider saying we want Slater then uh, Stephanie and Mick Foley set up a little uh, it's basically it's basically a tournament I don't know why they, is call, why they don't just call it a tournament but apparently it's a series of matches they seem to love the series as on Raw and we start off with Sami Zayn versus Seth Rollins which Seth Rollins wins which puts him into the Fatal 4-Way next week for the WWE Universal Championship. Uh, they said, I will get Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton later on, and then Sami Zayn does this and that and this and that. Then they have another qualifier, Kevin Owens versus Neville. Neville! And Kevin Owens wins, which means so far we have uh, Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens in the... Uh, Fatal 4-Way. Both matches were decent. I'm happy Kevin Owens is in there. Uh, but it would be better if Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho weren't a thing. But I guess they're a thing. Whatever. Uh, New Day are backstage with their bootios thing. They come out. And Big E says he's back. And then they say, oh, it's all because of you guys. 365 days and counting. And then Luke Gomes and Carl Anderson came out. Thank God they were in, like, their club cloaks and not their doctor clo cloaks. And then, uh, uh, Luke Gallows took care of most of the mic work, which was surprising since Carl Anderson, uh, normally does that. And a few weeks ago, I got really scared. Well, not a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. I got really scared because they started calling them just Gallows and Anderson. And I thought they were going to change their names to Gallows and Anderson. But... Thank God they're Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson because if they weren't Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, I'd be so mad. Like, you can't just... Oh, oh. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, they say that Kofi's the stupidest uh, member of the New Day and says... And since he was talking about magic, asked... Uh, 
if he enjoyed the Magic Killer at SummerSlam, uh, obviously Gallows and Anderson's finishing move, uh, Kofi's like, e Big E, help me out, man! And then uh, Big E says he's tired of hearing the booty chatter, and basically Carl Anderson versus Big E, which Big E wins pretty quickly. Okay. And then New Day celebrate. Okay. Uh, okay. And then Michael Cole hypes the farewell of the Dudley Boys, which is quite sad. And they show us what happened in their career on their debut on a Blue Smackdown. Titus O'Neil is in the ring and delivers a horrible promo. He can't speak. He's an autist. Why can't you speak? I thought you were the face. Why can't you speak? I thought you were the face. And he honestly cannot speak. Uh, everyone starts booing him because he can't speak. Talks about him being him lifting Darren Young, and that Darren Young was never great, and that Backlund's this and that. Backlund comes out, runs out, gets the crossface chicken wing. Titus gets out and starts trying to attack Backlund. Young runs out. And Titus is like, oh, and then Clash of the Titus, and then Titus is like, yeah, and then uh, they show us Lesnar vs. Orton, which was still sickening. Yep. And then uh, Stephanie's backstage with Tom Phillips, and then he says, uh, those were bad actions, especially the F5 on Shane McMahon. And then Stephanie says, Lesnar, cross the line and there will be repercussions. And then she walks off. We had another qualifier, Rusev vs. Big Cass, which Big Cass won eventually. Not a horrible match, not too good. And here is probably the highlight of the night, honestly. I can't think of anything. Hmm, I'm going to try and think of another highlight of the night, honestly. This role is a bit... Eh. Oh, there is a highlight highlight of the night. Johnny Knockout. He's the highlight of the night. Anyway. Charlotte comes out, cuts a pretty 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 good promo. And then uh she basically drops the microphone. Oh, did she drop I don't know. McFoley comes out and says that she's doing a great job congratulating herself. McFoley wants to say congratulations, but it's the best part of his job. There's a new person, hottest free agent of the new era, the latest member of the Raw roster. And by then, like, I also said on Twitter last night, and I'm not even joking, you can check my tweets, that Bayley will probably, you know, d debut. I think we all knew Bayley was going to debut. And by then, I was just saying, Bayley, 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 Bayley. Like, as soon as... I thought Bailey was just going to come out and interrupt Charlotte, and then when the promo finished and her music started playing, I started going, oh, are you serious? And then McFoley's music played, and then I'm like, Bailey, 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 Bailey. And then I went, dude, let's celebrate on the floor. Hooty hoot. And then the massive things go up. Corey Graves makes a nice old reference, used car thing. Good on you, Corey Graves. Uh... Everyone's like, you deserve it. Bailey says, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, Mick, can I give you a hug? And then Mick Foley and Charlotte, not Charlotte, uh, Bailey have a hug. And then basically Bailey versus Dana Brooke, which Bailey wins. Not a horrible match, but Bailey debuted, which was cool. And, yeah. Uh, Roman Reigns is walking backstage like oh, uh, Tom Phillips says oh Chris Jericho and Reigns says oh he's talking trash I'm gonna shut his mouth tonight and then they uh, say oh the cruiserweights coming September 19th Andrea DeMarco God knows who Andrea DeMarco is interview Seamus backstage Seamus says he, uh, Cesaro's this and that and uh the Yankees or whatever uh, from New York is shit and then he says and then they hype their second match of the best of seven series on the next show <laughs> this part made me laugh because it's just Vince McMahon I know Vince McMahon would be in the back laughing his freaking face off when this happened and Triple H would be next to him just like <laughs> So, Byron Sa 
There's a squash match between Braun Strowman, jo uh, Johnny Knockouts in the ring. Byron Saxton interviews and says, why the hell are you doing this? And then Johnny Knockout says, because he likes big sweaty men. Like, it's nothing wrong if you're homo, but Vince, why? You made a local talent look like shit. Just like that, you ruin careers that aren't even signed to the WWE. Vince, 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 Vince. Braun Strowman wins eventually, and then he says, Count the pin again after he does Powerbomb or something, and then toss him out of the ring, and then his music goes, Whoa! Yep. And then they say the Dudleys are saying goodbye, and then here we go. I this was emotional, man. The Dudleys, ECW, SmackDown, the TLC match. They've had so many uh, highlights in their career. Obviously, Bubba, I think we all know, is the more comfortable Dudley on the mic. But Devon did a good job saying if he had the opportunity to do all that again with uh, the Hardys, Edge and Christian. Then he would do it again right there, right now. Every whatever, every chair shot. And they all basically um, thank all the fans. And, yeah. Bob is like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And he says, people don't normally go out on their own terms. I'm going out on my own terms, even though the year wasn't. Boom. Devon says, testify. Gets... A pop gone, yeah. Music interrupts and Primo and Epico. So basically, Primo and Epico were just being dickheads. I don't know why, what they even are. The Shining Stars they had weeks of vignettes and they were drawing nothing. And then uh, basically, the Dudleys just smacked them. And then the highlight of this whole thing was probably where uh, Bubba said, one, two, three, and everyone in the arena. Everyone in the arena screamed, Get the table! Well, Devon! Get the table! That was fun. And, um, yeah. Everyone goes off and then they bring the table in the ring. But then, Anderson and Gallows pop out of nowhere and stop beating them up. I don't know why. They're in a feud with the New Day. They stop beating them up. They beat up Bubba outside the ring. They drop him with a magic killer. Then they go inside the ring and put Devon through a table with a magic killer. And then they stand tall and he goes, Hey, man, we came to conquer enemy. <laughs> I feel so bad for the Dudleys. Their whole return was just to put talent over. They're legends. Anyway. Chris Jericho vs Roman Reigns was a decent match. We all know Roman Reigns ended up winning. Kevin Owens went out there. Uh, there uh, people thought Jericho was going to win. He hit a code breaker. Kevin Owens got the uh, super kick. He helped out Jericho just like Jericho helped him out. But then Reigns just goes for the spear and he wins, of course. One spear and that's it. Uh, he hit a few Superman punches. It was a decent match. He stands tall. We go to replays. And Reigns goes like, Wurr! and then Raw goes off the air. Basically, that's it for Raw. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have, please smack like button and subscribe. I'll get you next time. Peace. Woo!